Hello, this is the presentation of the second project of the mechanical design class. And this is team 12. I'm Chana Guerma. My name is Andres Gonzalez, and we're doing the gearbox design. So we asked, we asked for this project to design a gearbox using some specific conditions. Uh, for example, we had the input shaft velocity was 720, and we needed to have uh, an output shaft velocity of 45 RPM. The direction had to be opposite, and the input and output shaft had to be perpendicular to each other. The main goal of the, of the project is to be cost effective with the design. So for the motivation, uh, we had that we needed to apply the knowledge about the gears uh, to design a, a gearbox uh, with, with certain conditions given. And also to ensure that the, uh, our prototype, our design is cost effective. Uh, the literature survey which we did was mainly reserved to the AGMA regulations for different types of gear sets so that our design is as safe as possible. But we did also did a little bit of history survey and we came to know that the first mention of gears was made by Aristotle in 4th century BCE. And uh, the first mechanical clock which used a complex set of gears was built in 725 AD. Um, the application which we will be talking about in our project and which we focus on is the differential drives. Differential drives are extensively used in automobiles because first of all they change the direction of the torque so that the wheels move and we are also using bevel gears in our design which change the direction of torque. Um, secondly, differential drives differentiate that the inner wheel while cornering uh, should is traveling less distance as compared to the outer wheels. Therefore, they slow the inner wheel down so that to as, so as to avoid uh, slipping. This is the proposed design. It employs three sets of gears, one bevel gear and two spur gears. Uh, the ratio, uh, the speed ratio in total was 16 is to one. And these gears, progressively uh, accomplish that ratio. The first gear set is a bevel gear set uh, uh, and the speed ratio, reduction ratio is 2 to 1. Uh, it is made of steel uh, and the, the product code is L158Y. Um, the teeth ratio is 42 and 21 which comes down to 2 to 1. Um, these are the AGMA calculations for the first gear set. Um, we used a lot of gear sets and uh, used the AGMA calculations and in this particular gear set, um, the factor of safety, as you can see, ensures a safe design. This is gear set number two. Uh, the speed reduction is again 2 is to 1. Uh, uh, the material is steel and the pinion is NJ12B while the gear is YJ24A. The Teeth ratio is 24 and 12, which comes down to 2. Uh, again, these are the AGMA calculations on this particular gear set. And as you can see, the factor of safety ensures a safe design. This is gear set number 3. And the uh, this one causes major speed reduction, almost 4 is to 1. Uh, the material is again steel. And the pinion ha is NJ18B, while the gear is NJ72. The teeth ratio is 72 and 18, which is about 4 to 1. Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, in all these gear sets, uh, the diametral pitch is 6 inches slight. Uh, these are the AGMA calculations. They, the factor of safety ensures a safe design. Uh, as mentioned in project, description our project was supposed to be as cost effective as possible and we tried to keep the cost uh, minimum um, the cost it came out to be eleven forty dollars and 25 cents after uh, assembling all the parts so 
So to conclude this presentation, we have a, it was a successful design using the Agma procedures for gearbox and also it was a cost effective which was the main goal at my at the other, as the other team members say was the main goal of this project this has concluded our presentation thank you